Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we have been designing this table of contents using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that we have all these uh, headings over here and if you scroll down, these are all the headings from this article that we have. And if I click on any of these headings, we are taken to that section. And uh, all this is generated dynamically using JavaScript by looking at all these headings and subheadings in our article. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this table of contents to our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post. And uh, let's add a title over here. So I'll just type my new post. And uh, here we need to add the article. So let's go ahead and let's go back to our source code. And uh, here we can see we have this post. Now for this table of contents to work, we need to write the article in a specific format. So the first thing we need to have is a division with a class of page content. And we need to create H2s for the main heading. And then we need to create S3s for the subheadings. And we also need to have a class of TOCS3 for the subheadings. And we also need to have IDs for each of the headings so that we can use that to scroll to that section. So these are basically the requirements of our post. And just like other articles, you can add images, uh, you can embed videos and whatever you want in the article. We just need to have these uh, three things, which is uh, the container division with a class of page content and the S2 with an ID and uh, the S3 with this class and this ID. So these are the three things you need to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and copy this from here. So I'll just copy all this uh, division from here and uh, let's paste it in our blogger post. So first of all, you need to make sure that you are in the HTML view. So if you're in the compose view, just click on this button and click on HTML view. Now let's go ahead and paste the article over here. So here we can see that we have the main container division, then we have the H2 can go ahead and add images and all of those things over here but I'll just keep it as it is and uh, let's click on publish and let's click on confirm now here we can see that the article is published let's click on this uh, view button and here we have our post now let's go ahead and add the code for generating the table of contents so let's go back to our blogger dashboard and let's go to theme and here we can see I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite, which comes by default with Blogger. Let's go ahead and click on this arrow and click on Edit HTML. And here we need to add our code. So let's go to the end of our Blogger theme code. And here just before the body ends, I'll just add all the code. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to check whether we are on a blog page. So for that, let's add an if condition. So let's go ahead and type less than b colon if c or nd for the condition. And in the condition, let's tap data colon blog dot page type equals and let's tap item. So this will make sure that we are inside a post. And let's close the if condition over here. Now we need to add all the code inside this if condition. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to a style or CSS file and let's copy all this CSS from here. So let's copy from this line of code till the end. And let's paste it over here. Now the next thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And here we can see that we have all this uh, JavaScript for displaying the table of contents. And here we can see that we are referencing the page content. Now here we will add one more if condition. So the first thing is that we are checking whether we have at least one heading in our post. Let's add one more condition and uh, let's see whether we have the page content available. So let's tap page content. And uh, here we are generating the table of contents. Right now, let's go ahead and copy all this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it inside the script tag. And uh, let's save this and let's see whether it works. So let's click on save button. And here we can see we have this error on line number 4203. 
and that's because we have this ampersand symbol over here now since we are writing blogger theme code and it is in XML we have to change this to ampersand AMP semicolon and ampersand AMP semicolon right now let's save this and now we see we don't have any errors so let's go ahead and go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have the table of contents displayed over here and let's see whether it works so let's click on one of these uh, headings and we are taken to that section and uh, here we can see that we are directly taken to that section we don't have this smooth scrolling so for that let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the CSS and here we will just add smooth scrolling so here let's type HTML and uh, let's type scroll behavior and let's set it to smooth and uh, let's save it and let's go back to our post and uh, let's refresh this page and let's click on one of these headings and we are taken to that section with smooth scrolling so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can add this dynamic table of contents to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day